So I'm Stephen Wolfram, I run Wolfram Research, and uh, we're here just after the pie moment of the 21st century in the uh, central time zone. And uh, we just did a little celebration of the pie moment here at South by Southwest. Um, I realized a little while ago that my company, Wolfram Research, has served more mathematical pie to the world than any other in history. So that meant uh, because Pi Day happened to occur right in the middle of South by, we had to do a pie celebration here. And uh, it's been fun. And I think um, it's something where actually we, uh, we made use of pie in all kinds of ways this week. Um, it turns out one mathematical feature of pie is that every sequence of digits should occur somewhere in, in the digits of pi. And we made use of that to let people uh, type their birthday into a website and find out where in pi that string of digits corresponding to their birthday occurs and then uh, send the data, send, generate a picture, send it to Zazzle, get a t-shirt back. It's kind of interesting to see how broad the distribution of pi interest is in the world. You can see all these, all these hits from all over the world, uh, more diverse actually than I've seen uh, most kinds of web things being. So, so pi is more popular than uh, most of the stuff. I guess pi is a, has more international appeal than cats or something um, on, the, on the internet. Um, but anyway, so, uh, it's, so we've, been, we've been having fun with Pi here. Uh, the, the core of what we make is the Wolfram language. Uh, it's something I've been developing now for 28 years, actually. Um, and uh, it's sort of a convergence of what we've done with Mathematica, which is something used by most of the world's sort of leading R&D organizations and so on, and Wolfram Alpha, which is kind of a consumer question answering system that's used by things like Siri, used a lot by, uh, by people uh, who need to answer questions, like kids doing homework and uh, professionals doing all kinds of things. Uh, Wolfram Language is sort of the convergence of those things, just sort of emerging now. Kind of the idea is to make a knowledge-based language that uh, uh, has built into it as much knowledge about computation and about the world as possible, uh, sort of to automate as much of the process of programming as possible so that when a human wants to write a program, they just have to sort of say what they want and the rest is automatically done by, by the Wolfram language. And this is something, it's, it's kind of a, a, a new direction and concept in programming. And I think it's, it's something which is going to spawn a whole, a whole collection of startups and, uh, and very interesting projects. Something we're just starting to see happen now. We know of a, a number of really, really promising startups that kind of have gone from an algorithmic idea to a deployed thing on the web or mobile or whatever on the cloud. Um, using the Wolfram language, and that, that's sort of the, uh, uh, the exciting thing that um, uh, now after sort of 28 years of development is, is emerging and will emerge over the course of this year and so on. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be excited to see what people do with it. And of course, if you really want to, you can uh, work out a million digits of pi in a second or something on a typical computer with the, or in our cloud uh, with the Wolfram language, but people will do, uh, are doing a very wide diversity of other kinds of things that sort of take algorithmic ideas and turn them into real products using the platform. So www.wolfram.com, W-O-L-F-R-A-M.com.